Hello and welcome back to another Age of Empires Online game. Today we've got a, a 2v2 game with Paul for France, sorry I massacred that name, and Tamen Tiol playing against Legion of Caesar and Krog's Film. So let me just give me one moment. Oh. Alright, so the, the map is um, Treasure Island and we've got we've got Babylonians and Celts versus Egyptians and Norse. So all different cities is pretty pretty inter interesting. So there'll be a lot of a lot of different units have to come out to counter each other and a lot of different combination units. Paul oh we're, co we're just going France for this game. France is France is moving forward to take deer. Uh, they all look like they're taking deer but oh, he's getting sort of wolves on this map taking out people. They've all gone for deer, so they're all they're all gonna be pretty much equal on in terms of food. Wood's quite far away for for a crop we'll call him film. Film it's a bit better for a bit better for Legion. Legion's going for an early barracks. Uh, I'm not maybe he's just going by himself, but the Babylonian spear rush is really powerful, so so that would make sense. But this map is quite big, so so that. He's been scouted out though, but he hasn't seen it. But you'll see it when he when he looks up. We'll just have a look down. He's not going for any um, barracks in return, but he hasn't, probably hasn't seen it yet. And France has also not gone for barracks. He's, oh yeah, he's going for barracks now. He's probably just seen this one coming up. The 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 Babylonian spearmen should be able to absolutely tear through the Egyptian spearmen though, but but if he just keeps around his town turn and fights under there, it should be okay. They've all got pretty good um, production of villagers and now Legion's getting at his first two spears much longer before anyone else. They're all looking up here, just scouting out to see. Yep, there's the barracks dropped. He's, he's obviously seen this barracks and they're all just responding to each other. There's not much more else that is going on at this point. They're all just putting down barracks. He's the only one who's gone for spears yet, but they've all just got the barracks out just in case, I guess. Now the first spearman's coming out for Tamen. He's moving on to his second deer. Oh, is it? Yeah, his second deer patch. Yep, he's spread him out maybe to protect against the spearman rush because it's directly opposite him. And France has gone straight for an early dock. So has Film. So there, there, sh there might be some battles for the water if, if they can perhaps keep these two occupied with each other on the land. If one, if one takes the, the land then it, it might be hard to, to keep off, if, keep him out of your base if you've invested a lot into water but he's got his duck up first, perhaps just waiting for the age 2 to, to get his um, ship, like attacking ships out but maybe you'll go for the, yep he's gonna go for a fishing boat but it does take a lot, a lot of wood so it's a quite a heavy investment particularly if you have to get the houses up to age up there he's still still not able to age up because he's invested in this dock but he's got this this spearman not doing he's maybe just scouting out the temple of Ra's coming up so he's gonna be the the first to age up but he, he's it looks like he's maybe not maybe not make making some villages but he'll be the first age up at least he's yeah it's all pretty fair at the moment, there no, no real difference in the, the villages too much. Maybe maybe films and gone for a bit of a a bit of a, a risk taking this this water but as long as he as long as he doesn't lose his ships he should be alright. With, with France hasn't hasn't made any fishing raids, he's po he's pop blocked at the moment but he's dealing with other stuff yet. He's he's got his house coming up at the back now so it should be okay. Legion up here is he's got his Babylonian barracks out but hasn't hasn't gone for the spearmen but perhaps is um well he's got his original two spearmen but I don't think I've seen any more come out. So maybe it was just to force the other people to uh get get there because they're probably afraid of Babylonian spearmen rush, it's probably the strongest in the game so I don't even know where his spearmen have gone. They're probably right in front of me. And now he's aging up. It's quite quite late. 
but but he's he's the last to H up, but he he's the highest in the scores, so he's he's maybe has an extra 19 villages to 21 villages or yeah, 21 villages, yeah. He's got this storehouse going up for the gold now. He's got his three houses, so he's aged up. He's almost there. Tamen's now aged up. He's oh yeah, there's the spearmen. They're just poking around the base. Perhaps just getting there, getting some distraction in before before they're um, useless because the mission crew of the Norse will just kill them quite quite easily. Once they're yeah, one because I he's already got the barracks up, so he's probably yeah he's gonna go for throwing axemen. They're not really gonna be able to. Spearmen won't be able to stand up to that, even though they are the strongest spearmen, the throwing axemen should. And he's just getting some, he's getting his stables up. Uh, they're all appear to be going to stables. This is quite, quite isolated town center, but maybe it's a good, maybe it's, maybe as a strategy I don't, maybe just to, to block this entrance off and, you know. Because he does have his ox cart, so he's quite efficient with efficient with his um, gathering rate. All right, so on the water there's a tri one trimaran mount, and oh, he's he's taken the water. He's got although although film has put down a second dock. Francis got the water control. He's got his t he got two boats out, and they're quite expensive. It looks like Crocs just oh yeah, he's going out. He's got a swan ship that it's quite dear, so he's not going to be able to afford another one. He's got getting the wood upgrade now. He'll be able to produce more ships if he gets he gets more wood. So, but it is costing quite a bit. He's not making anything else at the moment. He's getting a second town center up. It's quite expensive to get a town center up and go for the water. We'll see if France has has not gone for a second town center. So that's how he's been able to get our boats faster and take this water control. Although. It looks like he has lost all these fishing ships, so it's not, it's not really. Um, maybe he didn't produce any fishing ships, but he's not. He's not getting much of an advantage from this. But he's just keep, he, he's just making the film have to produce this too. Film's got fishing ships out, but he's not. He's not gathering much. He, this one's just the idol, so he needs to look out for this. He's, he's shooting the ship, and they're shooting the dog, so that's not going to be a good trade. And up the top, he's going for the going for another hunt. He's just getting his production facilities out with a, a lot of wood gatherers. He's got a lot of wood saved up. Maybe he's going to put down some more barrack, uh, like in production facilities. They're pretty much just booming, getting their second town centers up. Except France, who's going for a more heavy. He he lost the water now that he's he's going to scatter around to take out fishing ships, but there's none here. He's lost the water, but uh, he's he has, he's not gathering stone anyway. So oh, he's gathering a tiny bit of stone. He's doesn't re not really caring about that too much. The the populations he, he is ahead in population. So well, he's he's 47 in play, 33 in play. So he's quite a quite a way ahead of his teammate with 39 in play and 45 in play. So he's 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 ahead. By uh, quite a bit, and perhaps, perhaps it's good he's he's made an overreaction now that the film has a lot of ships out, and perhaps, although he's he's starting to take the the fish now, so that's at least he's using it, but he has had to make a lot of ships to take this back. Now he's getting his fishing boats out, that'll really really boost his economy, and he's trying to take out this dock. So now now France has had to go to make up for his lost water he's had to push out into the center of the map and that's going to be higher risk for him as the other the other side will probably start so now they're getting some harassment up the back here it's it's quite he's perhaps just wanting to get back for his the economy is lost from the water but with this town center here it's going to be pretty hard to do any damage he's got he's getting his third barracks up perhaps just look maybe defensive because he's not really making any units but he's just going straight really heavy into fishing ships right now three coming out of this one and and the upgrade so he's going really heavy into into his water economy right now up here the the top players are just booming legions uh getting getting quite a high score 
he's getting a lot of buildings out at the moment. And he has a lot of wood gathers, but perhaps his score is due to his saved other resources also, because that does give you a bit of a score boost. And he has a, a lot of a lot of houses down, so he has a lot of pot room, but the, the houses also give you increased score, so. so now he's coming, he's just scouting around. This is quite a big army for he's perhaps the biggest army on the map right now, but his score is quite low, but maybe with this army it'll make up for it. He 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 seems to be going just as just as aggressively into the economy as the rest, so perhaps perhaps he's just spending his more resources to have a lower score. He's got raiders, which are, which are, perhaps perhaps he's using them just because they're fast and all their lances are good against infantry. So so he is quite a good counter, but perhaps perhaps yeah, a more direct counter would work. But he's just perhaps not trying to get infantry out because these lances will just be really really powerful unless he. There's not really much you can get an equal trade because the lands can just run away and get the get the villagers and then run out. Because particularly in maps like this where the the villagers are often often condensed into one spot to gather wood, so he's he's getting quite heavy into the wood. So other oh, sorry the food just, yeah he's he's aging up now. He's going to be the first to age up once his villagers are done. So he should be in a good spot. Legion could age up, but he isn't choosing to. Uh, France, France could easily get there if he wanted. He's putting down a lot of buildings that are taking, taking wood. So he's just getting up his second town center now. He's going to be quiet behind. He's got 39 villages compared to legions, 49 villages, 47 villages, 26 villages. So Tamen is quite, quite far behind in villages, but does have the biggest army at the moment. So perhaps if he, he gets up and uses that, although Caesar's or legions just starting to get out some quite a few units that he's got eight eight lances and seven bowmen to counter eleven raiders and thirteen ax throwing axemen so that sh should be I, that's France is coming to try and destroy these he, this is perhaps the one he, he I think he hit it up the back what, when he ran away before so it's a good idea I don't think he lost one though because I remember there being three before now, he, he's also taking a lot of films time. Film's going to have to scatter around the water and, and search for the other ones. Or he, he search for other ones, even though he doesn't have any other ones. He's not, not producing any any um, more efficient ships, but he's got quite a lot. And this, uh, I don't know, perhaps if he, he puts down a, a dock on the island, he'll have better coverage. Uh, a dock on the island in the center, he'll have better coverage of the water, but it's not really a lot of fish there but at least give him a quite a boost you'll be you'll be in better better situation than France will at the moment so he's got quite a big army out here waiting too so they're not really he's they're starting to get a market up that's pretty good this market up the back here I don't know not really sure what this wall is but there's a market here perhaps that's to keep something out of the back I don't I'm not sure but He's, he's going to be in a bad spot now, though. He, he's, unless he gets the, he's got the army, but he's not a little. Oh wait, he's he's getting him in position. It just it'd be bad if he ran in here. He'd have quite a quite a free range of all these villages. They just got this one town center. Although may, perhaps that town center could garrison them all. There's only seven there, so they've come up here. This battle, so they're two v one, and they should they should be able to take this. The, the advantage they have and it appears they have a unit advantage as well. Perhaps, I'm not sure if the sound is too loud, but it is sorry. Now he's just going in. He's perhaps going to try and run out the back and ruin this market line or get these. Because he should know the villagers are out the back. It's pretty much the only location they could be on this map, so. Pretty good. He's gonna, looks like he's gonna get stopped pretty quickly though. Let's see. He's gonna get. I think that's two, three. That's no, one, two. He's lost. He's gonna lose all his cameras though. So it's hard to know who's dying. It has caused him to waste a lot of time though. 
now, but now it films the score leader and perhaps with his um, caravans and his defensive style as well as his water advantage. It's just giving him the boost. Now he's moving in with his Woad Raiders. They're going to be quite good at taking out any units. They're quite fast, so perhaps it was a bad move for um, France to sacrifice all these camels up the back. He's getting out uh, chariot archers, but they got 33, 33 pierce damage and these have effect effective against range 2.5 and have 30% pierce armor, so they are quite effective against range units, but and, and they, they got that little charge, so the charge will be able to get him in range quite fast. He's getting pushed back now, but he, it looks like he's done quite a bit of damage and, and disrupted the economy a lot. Zemen is making two forts, that's going to be quite strong, it's quite close to his base, the, the Legion's base, so he'll be able to push forward quite easily with this. It'll be a quite strong position to fight him from and and perhaps yeah, and he's, he's come forward to take these, these resources, so just locking him in his base is going to start starving him of resources. Going to be quite as effective as it seems. He's, they're starting to try and claim their positions in the center of the map, though. That's a bit, a bit defensive. But, but I suppose he's got these two now. He's going to start being able to get out these, these siege units, which is perhaps going to give him advantage. It's surpri it's surprising his score is so low, but he's perhaps the the player I'd say is the most dominant at the moment. So the score seems to be lying. Well, I'll just have a look at at, at, at to men's view right now. Let's see what he can see. These, these units aren't aren't going to want to engage under three forts, and and it might be in range of this siege workshop, which is going to be the perfect counter is to make the think the fort in range of the siege workshop, so I can take it out. So. It's going to be quite difficult for him to take anything out because these three ports are just going to provide so much fire. Yeah, and, and, and he's in a bit of a trouble. He's in a bit of trouble now. He's and there's not really much you can do to, to push forward. And all the people looking at this part of the map now, so there must be some team chat going, getting worried, making a lot of units, but. It's starting, it's starting to look bad, it's getting into his base and taking out a lot of stuff. Perhaps he's, he's just pull back, it looks like he's done the damage, but he's just going to try and take out some buildings. He can easily retreat to the safety of here, so he's trying to, to get, he just gets some forces up before he moves in. But and with Film's economy, it's it's interesting that he's not at, he's not really come to his rescue yet. Here he comes. Perhaps perhaps some siege siege of his own would be handy, but it's oh, he's going to take a lot of fire here. It's not sport just through is quite a quite aggressive spot. And these these throwing axemen will be good against the roads once they stop building. So he hasn't lost time any yet, but he's. They're all starting to get pretty low on HP. He's not going to stop this going up. It's, yeah, there it goes. He's, perhaps he, yeah, perhaps he, he save you'll be the economy. Let's see, see what units he's getting out. He's getting it, just a lot of a lot of lances. Oh, Capratoms. Sorry, I don't know how to say that. But lances and warrior raider champions. So. Francis got a got a small army here, but it seems that that Zemen has done a quite an amazing job for a few of these stories so low. Like, he's keeping his resources really low and and surprisingly having a low village count giving him the opportunity to have a lot of military and not have to waste waste um, resources on providing houses for his economy and it seems to be working so 
with this forward push, it's not, we're not really, at, at this stage of the game, there's not really much you can do. Type H4 would be, be good to take out these things, but just, yeah, just deleting these units off so you can get the pop room back. This, this counter could be effective, but he needs to get into, get into here and to start affecting this economy because this is the one that's killing him. But, seems to have done a good job. He's got, he's got a few siege, siege towers out at the moment. They're, they are going to come under quite a lot of fire here and he's put up another fort. So this pusher is going to be quite deadly. It'll be hard to... And he, there's an elephant smashing houses. So, yeah, and he's starting to get the siege out now. He's going to start getting pop capped. Yep, he's, he has to build houses. He's, he can't make any units. He's going to start, have to start throwing down here, yep, down the back. It's going to cost him a village of time and wood, and he's not going to, he's about to run out of it. And it's, I think, yeah, they're going to start against the market line. That's going to be, although they don't have much of a market line down here, this is a lot of resources that have been spent on this, and they're about to go to waste if he starts taking this out. He's got the mountain arches. The mountain arches are doing a good job of taking out the elephant with their bonus, but... And yeah, this this one is the one that's going to stop the market line. There's not much you can do. He's got he's got a, a lot more economic advantage, but but he's just been pushed so hard. This is really one, uh, a good characterization of a, a game where someone's pushed pushed all military and it's what paid off for him because he's just got map control and, and although he's, his teammates been taken out. Perhaps you can get back to help this, but he has no defenses back. But it's almost, almost uh, one for one. So we're about to become a one v one in a moment because I'm just not sure that uh, both of them would be pretty vulnerable once their once their ally is gone. Maybe maybe one of them will resign or getting a fort up in the back but it's not going to help he's got stone throwers up here perhaps the stone throwers would be handy for his ally up here but it's just units streaming across the map he's actually been quite a good quite a good counter he's, he's completely taken out france he's, he's had one up on france the whole game since he took this water and he's getting in, he's getting a lot of houses at his perhaps have seen the amount of trouble his allies in. He's gonna notice it now anyway. He's maybe pull some units back or something, but he has pretty dominant control of this base, but he's about to lose a fort. Maybe this is the, the high turning on the whole game. This, he didn't really have any this, this all this market economy is uh, France's anyway, so it doesn't really affect to men that much, but now he's going to move up to this. This is where it's really going to... This, this will be the deciding battle. Who's won? If he gets enough damage here or somehow Tamen can manage to keep this off. Both of them are not even worrying about their, their ally. They're just going for the kill. Perhaps... Perhaps they're, they're just trying to push for the resign from the other team. But both teammates seem to be doing quite a good job. They're, they're trying to stay in it. Although they've been hit quite hard, it's it's good that they've they've kept in it for their their. Oh, this is interesting. Not really sure what that's for, but he's really pumping out the siege now. He wants to get this done with. There's a lot of villagers at the back still, so. It, but it appears that that France is only only got 36 villagers, so, and that's compared to Legion 66, so. Now that he's getting some eco damage here, it's, it's two down to 55. He's still got still got a lot down the back here though. Oh, and here's France's other ones. He's got a base up here. He's going to try to escape down here. And there's another France down center. He's he's really he's really saved his uh, ally doing this because now now it's just, there's not much going on up here. All these attention was down, and he lost all his siege. Almost, almost over. 
there's not really much you can do to, do to come back from this. He's lost all of his town. There's units in here that could easily come and clean up the rest of it. Yeah, now he's sending them. This stone tower is doing a, a really great job, but it's, it's really, really been a, a good investment for him going to age four. With all the others in age three, and and with his age four tech, he, he just easily took out age three forts, well, forts that, that can't produce range. Each. Perhaps, perhaps that was not not a, a great, a great strategy for making all these forts, but maybe. Maybe you spending these resources to get up and then produce some more powerful units, but it's a good game. It's a lot of a lot of back and forth, and he's even making a wonder just to perhaps rub it in or cement his position. But anyway, good game, and thanks for watching.